Oh, hey, Rachel, I just started the video. Okay, guys, uh, I only have four videos left before I have to pay for this software, so I guess Fart Buckets is going to stay in this video. Listen, anyways, y'all are going to create a uh, coffee mug, uh, like a boring one, like one of these. So go to Fusion 360, start a, a new design, and go ahead and call it um, coffee mug or whatever it is you want to call it. Okay, so uh, for this project, we're going to do this in centimeters, or at least I am. If you want to do it in inches, that's fine. See, I'm already in centimeters. And uh, let's get started. First of all, I want to see the origin. I don't know about y'all. My default is that it's gone, so just click there if you ever want to, like, see it. It's not, it never goes away. Um, but anyways, uh, cylinder, we got to use a cylinder because it's a coffee mug. So go to Create. And then if you go down here, you have cylinder. Uh, of course, you could have just created a circle and extruded that, but whatever. And uh, what I want you all to do is instead of putting it in the middle, uh, kind of put it over here somewhere that's not the middle. Uh, there's a reason for this. Uh, it's because I want to teach you all something. Uh, putting the circle with center would be too easy. And uh, coffee mugs, they, they have a radius of about, I mean, a diameter of about eight centimeters. So I'm going to type in eight. And they're about nine and a half centimeters tall. So this is going to be our basic coffee mug, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put a handle on it, okay? Uh, however, there's no plane to do a sketch. You want to do like a, a circle kind of thing, but uh, we can't do that because the planes are all over here on the left. Now you see why I've told you all to move it to the side. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have to construct a plane offset from one of these planes. So to do that, it's right here by the Construct section, Offset Plane, and uh, click on, I guess I'll click on this, uh, and I want it to be, let's try three centimeters. Ooh, let's try negative three centimeters. Uh, I want it to be kind of centered, so why don't I keep on moving it? Uh, negative five, negative six. Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Um... There we go, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm gonna make mine five actually, because there's gonna be another teachable moment later. I wanna do it not super perfect. Um, so do that, so now that I have a plane, come on. Uh, I'm going to create a handle from that. So handles are not really uh, circles, they're more like an ellipse. So I'm gonna create a sketch on this new offset plane, and I'm going to make an ellipse under create. You see, instead of circle, I'm picking lips. And uh, looks like, where is about the center of this coffee mug? I feel like it's right about here. And move it to the right of the mug, but not too far to the right, you know? Um, and I'm gonna make mine about this tall, I guess. About this wide. Ooh, I don't think I moved mine tall enough. I'm gonna try that again. Ah, that's better. Okay. And now I'm going to create another ellipse that's kind of in the center of that. So... Like that, I guess. Is that too fat? I feel like that's normal for a coffee mug. Okay, so I'm going to finish my sketch, and I'm going to extrude it. But uh, let's say I want to make it one centimeter. Uh, mine is cutting. Uh, let's change that uh, from cut to join. So that's under here under operation. Let's select join. And it's going the wrong way, obviously. It looks dumb. So let's make mine uh, instead of one side. Make it go the other way. Let's make it let's make negative one. There we go. Now mine is not exactly where I want it to be, so it's not centered really. Uh, and so how you can do that is you can go onto the bottom screen down here and you can redo some things that you've done in the past. So I'm going to right click on that plane I offset. I'm going to edit it. And now instead of being at negative five, I'm gonna make it negative 5.1.2. And it's good. And there, it moved the whole thing that like everything I'd done afterwards is also moved with it. Cool, huh? Um, so now I gotta actually cut through the, the coffee mug, right? So let's create a sketch on top. 
draw a circle. And that looks good to me. And uh, we're going to cut that through, so I'm going to click Extrude. And it was nine and a half centimeters deep, so I'm only make this nine centimeters. Ooh, negative nine. And uh, cut through the coffee mug. So there you go, basic coffee mug. Except for one thing. If, if you were to make this, it would be so obvious that you 3D printed it. I mean, look at all the corners. They're all like sharpened stuff. You'll cut your mouth like trying to drink coffee out of it. So what we're going to do is we're going to curve all of the edges. And so to do that, that'll give it a real polished look. It's over here under Modify. It's Fill It. Or you just use the letter F. Uh, click on that and then click on whatever you want to curve, like this here. And then you'll type the radius for the curvature. So 0.1. 0.2, you know, whatever you want, really. And uh, you can actually select multiple uh, sides at once. So I'll select that. I'll select this here. I'll select down inside my cup. There we go. I think instead of 0.1, I'll make my curvature a little bigger. 0.15. I feel like it didn't really... Do it right here. Let me do this inside again. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and do the handle also. Hold on. It didn't do the bottom. What the heck? Cool. Uh, let's do the handle now. So I'll use the letter F for fillet. And I'll select all the edges where it kind of meets the cup. And the bottom side too. And uh, let's try point two. See, I feel like this should be filleted, I made that word up, uh, a little more. So I'm going to keep on expanding it until it looks about right. That looks good. Now uh, let's do the actual handle. We're almost done, guys. So, so now let's make this a little curvy. How about point two? Eh, that's too much. Uh, Cool. All right, and there you go, your finished uh, coffee mug. Uh, except, uh, let's make it out of ceramic, actually. So right-click on your coffee, er, eh, hold on, highlight the whole coffee mug. Let's uh, right-click it and go to Appearance. And if you scroll down, you can find different materials, like ceramic. I thought you did. Uh, miscellaneous? No, we're not going to make it out of air. Um, uh, other plastic? Guys, this is on me. I should have figured this out ahead of time. Whatever. Somewhere in here, there's ceramic. What you'll do is you'll just click it, and you'll drag it over to your coffee mug, and that'll change uh, whatever it is. If you want to make your coffee mug out of granite, then uh, go for it. See, I just made mine out of granite. Now it looks kind of stupid, undoing everything I've done before. Listen, this video is getting too long, so we're going to end it here. Uh, good luck, you guys.